Hey guys, my name is George and welcome to this new tutorial. Today we're going to solve a Google Code Jam problem. Uh, basically this problem is called uh, the minimum scalar product and uh, it's basically a problem for, from the first round in 2008. So that's nice. Uh, right now I'm going to test uh, my results since I already did this uh, uh, I already co coded this in, in Ruby and basically the output is correct so with that I hope you uh, believe that I actually uh, solved it. It's actually really really simple. Uh, it's a really simple uh, problem. Now, uh, okay guys, uh, what I want you to do first is that you go to uh, this problem over here in the practice section of Code Jam and you actually read the problem because uh, it's going to make a lot more of sense if you read it and if you understand the input uh, of this uh, problem. However, uh, basically uh, the problem is really simple. It gives you uh, two vectors, two arrays, and uh, with these two arrays you have to uh, reorder them, uh, you have to permutate them in, in a way that, that uh, when you calculate the minimum scalar product, which is described over here, is basically this formula over here, uh, you get the minimum result possible. Now for that actually the algorithm uh, is uh, really simple. Uh, basically you're going to take uh, the two vectors and you're going to sort them. One uh, in descending order and the other one in ascending order. So when you calculate the minimum scalar product you're going to get the, the minimum number possible uh, because you're going to have uh, negative numbers, you're going to have uh, uh, I mean the, the most uh, likely uh, possible uh, results that are going to be really high, you're going to avoid them by doing this uh, uh, sorting. So I'm going to demonstrate the code over here. It's, uh, I'm going to code it on the Ruby programming language. I'm going to first, I need to capture as an argument uh, the file name. I don't know what I wrote that file name. Uh, after that, uh, what you want to do, I'm going to create the file object. So I'm going to open this file uh, over here, open file name, and I'm going to read the first uh, input line, which is going to be the number of uh, test cases. So I'm going to put over here test uh, cases equals uh, file dot read line dot chomp dot two integers. So with that, I have the the number of test cases I'm going to check out. Um, after that, what you want to do is that you want to create a loop over here for i. Uh, we're going to um, basically uh, run a, a loop for all the test cases that we have over here. Since this is a, a an integer number, we're going to run for i uh, beginning in zero, basically in this range over here, beginning from zero to uh, test cases minus one. So that's going to be uh, the first iteration I'm going to make. Uh, inside this uh, loop uh, for each test case we need to read basically three uh, lines over here which is going to be in the number or, or I mean the length of each of the vectors and the actually two vectors or arrays uh, that the test case is going to give us. So for that I'm going to create n equals file dot read line and chump to integer, so that's uh, the size of the vector. After that, we get uh, we get uh, vector number one, which is uh, basically file dot read line, and uh, you're going to split that vector because you get it uh, separated by spaces over here. So we're going to split the vector, and we're going to map uh, the results uh, to integers. So I'm going to use the map method over here, and I'm going to uh, transform them into integers. So that's uh, basically the code for doing that. Uh, after that you read the second vector which is also a read line that split dot map and you're going to get uh, that vector also transformed into integers. So now we have both uh, vectors. Now comes uh, the tricky part uh, which is actually uh, really easy. All you have to do if you're using Ruby is that you need to transform these vectors. I'm going to sort uh, the first uh, vector, this is uh, ascending order and if you want to do the opposite uh, for vector 2, what you need to do is that you need to sort and then use the reverse method which is basically going to uh, sort it uh, in 
reverse, I mean in descending order, so that's uh, really easy to do. You only use two lines in Ruby and you have it done. Um, after you do that, what you need to do is that you actually need to calculate the result, uh, the minimum scalar product for each test case. Uh, so this is the first test case and uh, the result I'm going to start it um, in zero and after that I'm going to iterate uh, a J object in the range of zero to the actual size uh, of n, okay, M minus one. So with that I will be able to access uh, all the numbers over here and I'm going to add them in this result. So basically result is going to be equal to result plus, so the previous result plus vector number one in J position uh, multiplied by vector number two in the same uh, coordinate or position, okay? So with this you're going to get the result and after that what you need to do is that you need to create an out, um, I mean, uh, out uh, response or text. Uh, so I'm going to create this uh, variable over here and it's going to be basically equal to the case, okay? So the case is going to be number one or basically it's, number to be, it's going to be i, so it's going to be i plus one because i starts in zero and after that uh, what you want to do is that you want to add the result that you got uh, before. So this is the result starting in zero, then you calculate the result uh, for the minimum scalar product and you add it over here so that's basically it and after that you can add um, a space so and a, a new line so you can basically uh, get this going so after that uh, also something I forgot is that you need to create an output file so I'm going to create a file over here it's basically going to be a new file I'm going to call it mean or uh, I mean uh, result of minimum scalar product dot out, okay? And it's going to have uh, writing permissions, so I can actually write into that file. I forgot to put open over here. Okay, open with writing permissions. And after that, uh, basically you can use the out, which is the output file dot write method. So you can write uh, your uh, the result of your test case. And so basically that's it. And finally, after you do all the test cases, you're going to close that file. So I'm going to use the close method. Uh, this is really simple script, actually. I hope you guys uh, understand it. And also the logic of uh, sorting the, the vectors, one in descending order and another one in ascending order. But uh, basically when you run the script, uh, you're going to see that the result is going to be okay. So I'm going to save this uh, file over here and I'm going to my terminal. Uh, as you can see, I don't have a file called uh, result uh, min dot out. I have this uh, result dot out that I have previously. However, I already have the 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 inputs over here, so I'm going to run my script minimum scalar product. I'm going to do the small practice, so that's what I'm going to do now, and I will see the result. Okay, result min dot out. As you can see and I will upload it uh, so we can see that it is basically okay so I'm going to upload the file submit uh, so that's basically it guys I hope you really like this tutorial in a few seconds uh, after this uh, finish uploading and processing uh, you will see that it is actually correct however uh, I just uh, okay here you can see it's correct so I hope you guys like the tutorial. Uh, you can use this code uh, for basically the small and the large inputs. Uh, and I also uh, want to encourage people to basically uh, do more of these uh, pro pro code jam problems. Uh, as you know, it's starting soon and in in, tw in 2014. So uh, I plan to enter and uh, do the best uh, uh, the best I can. So I hope uh, I do well. Uh, so that's basically it uh, for today. If you like the tutorial, don't forget to click on the like button below. Uh, I will also appreciate uh, some subscriptions and sharing. If you share this video, I will really love that. Uh, if you share this uh, video with your friends, so see you guys later and have a nice day. Bye bye.